But Bonnie, what about nutrition? That is something that I hear all the time with clients who are starting their intuitive eating journey. And that's what we're going to be digging into on this episode of the Diet Free Zone show. Hi, I'm Bonnie Giller, registered dietitian, nutritionist, and certified intuitive eating counselor. So what about nutrition? That is such a common question people ask. When they get started with me on intuitive eating, we don't start with nutrition. As a matter of fact, if you're familiar with intuitive eating at all, you know there are 10 principles of intuitive eating. And the last and final principle, number 10, is gentle nutrition. So why don't we start with nutrition first thing? You don't need nutrition information. You're coming into this journey having dieted for many, many years, likely even decades. You probably could write the book on nutrition, although I will say that so many of my clients actually come to me and say, I'm so overwhelmed. Yeah, I can write many books on nutrition based on what diet I was following. But yet, here's the thing. If we begin the journey talking about nutrition, and you have a diet mentality, you're going to hear all that conversation and all those nutrition guidelines as rules, more rules, and that's not going to serve you. So nutrition absolutely has a place in intuitive eating, and we're going to be talking today about gentle nutrition and active self-care. So when you're ready for nutrition, meaning when you have really worked through your diet mentality and you've shift, shifted away from that diet mindset and you've learned to attune to the inner signals of hunger, fullness, and satisfaction, and you have really learned what are your emotional eating triggers and how to cope with those emotions with kindness, self-compassion. And when you've really learned what foods you enjoy, because many times as a dieter, you don't even know what you enjoy anymore because you're so busy eating the foods you think you should eat. When you really work through all of this, you're ready for nutrition. Now, when we think about nutrition, I love it to come from a place of self-care, not a place of restriction. I'm going to say that again because that is a very, very important point. Nutrition, really think about it coming from a place of self-care and not restriction. Now, we can absolutely put a gentle nutrition plan or structure in place in the early part of this journey if you really are eating haphazardly, for example, or if you're in times of stress, because let's remember, stress will blunt your hunger signals. So there are certain times where some type of structure is going to definitely benefit you. As a matter of fact, if you're in the early parts of this journey and your hunger fullness meter is, for lack of a better word, broken, then you're not able to use your inner signals to guide that eating. And so some gentle nutrition structure structure is absolutely necessary and that's why I'm saying let's come at that from an angle of self-care, a nourishing self-care plan so that you consistently nourish yourself. Now, so again, nutrition number one has a place in intuitive eating. Putting gentle nutrition, a plan in place during times of stress is very important for you because hunger signals tend to get blunted. And part of that gentle nutrition plan is eating regularly and eating enough. So again, if your hunger fullness meter isn't really working right now because diet culture pretty much broke the meter, then making sure you're eating in a regular pattern so you're continuously nourishing your body is going to be crucial for you to get the nutrients you need for energy, for for thinking, for doing, for moving, and really to have clarity. You've got to make sure you're feeding yourself And you've got to make sure you're feeding yourself enough food. So pay attention if the diet mentality is causing you to eat light meals. Many, many times people say to me, Bonnie, I feel like I'm eating all the time. When if I'm going based on hunger, I feel like I'm eating all the time. Well, that very well might be because your meals are not really complete meals. They may be little snacks because the diet mentality is coming in and saying, I probably shouldn't eat now pay attention. Pay attention to that. Call it out. Say, I hear you, diet mentality. 
nope, not for me. I'm going to feed myself consistently. I'm going to feed myself regularly and I'm going to eat enough to meet my body's nutritional needs. Okay, what else of general nutrition do we want to focus on? Having fun, exploring, experimenting, including variety in your food choices, trying out new recipes. By the way, did you know I have a cookbook, Enjoying Food Peace? Check it out here. You can get it on Amazon. Intuitive eating wisdom is included throughout this book. You've got over 150 recipes. I highly recommend you check it out on Amazon. But anyway, back to what I'm talking about. Trying new recipes, having fun, exploring new tastes and textures is all part of gentle nutrition. And I would say creating a new relationship with food, eating, meals, cooking. It's fantastic. Okay. We also want to reflect on how you're feeling. So this is another very important part of gentle nutrition that is really coming from a place of self-care and that is reflection. So you've just eaten a meal. Maybe you've tried something new, maybe not, but ask yourself, do I feel nourished after eating this meal? Do I feel energized or do I feel tired and lethargic? Yes, that's part of gentle nutrition is reflection. As a matter of fact, reflection is really part of the entire intuitive eating journey, but especially comes in handy when we're working on incorporating gentle nutrition. Another very important tip around gentle nutrition that I'd like to share with you is trying to zoom out versus zoom in, meaning what? Let's focus on the big picture of nutrition, the big picture of meals, the big picture of how you're nourishing yourself rather than on specific foods and specific food choices. So for example, take a look at the end of the day as you reflect on your day at your overall food pattern, your meal pattern. Is it supporting you? Has it supported you throughout the day with giving you enough energy? How did you feel? Is there any particular area of a meal or a snack that you'd like to add some new foods or nutrient dense foods? That is what's important. Not zooming in on one particular food. Oh no, I ate the French fries. Look at the bigger picture. Having said that, I will also say it's so very important to focus on adding in versus taking out. What does diet culture teach us? Diet culture te teaches us what we cannot have, cannot have diet language. It removes foods from our eating, right? Not so with gentle nutrition, even gentle nutrition for health conditions, which I will create another video on for you. But when we're treating nutrition, when we're treating health conditions with nutrition called medical nutrition therapy, we focus on what we can add in, such as if you have high cholesterol, what foods can we add in to help lower cholesterol? Not solely what should we take out. And so that's a very important focus within the concept of gentle nutrition. So again, nutrition is very, very important. It is principle number 10 because it's so crucial for you to be sure you're sh you've shifted out of your diet mentality before learning about nutrition because otherwise all those guidelines around nutrition are just heard as rules again. And well, we know rules just haven't served you and they never will. So can you get started with implementing gentle nutrition from a self-care framework? I think you can. Let me know in the comments below which of these pointers jumped out at you, how you're going to implement gentle nutrition into your life. I'd love to hear. Don't forget, hit subscribe so you can get notified every time a new episode of the Diet Free Zone show is released. And please give me a like if you, if thumbs up if you like this video and hit the subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video.